Okay, guys, shall we do some kind of a, a meditation of some kind? Do you want to do a modern energy meditation? So we don't have to stand on one leg. That's great. And we don't have to spend hours and hours of going into trance. That's also good. So I'm going to ask my dear energy mind to give me something for us to do this morning together. That'll be fun and gentle and soothing and loving and sort of nice. Oh, yeah, I've got an idea. I have an idea. All right. I've seen a lot of people post this week that they are really missing hugging their grandchildren or their children or their friends and that they're really, really missing the touch. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to take my glasses off here so I can freely do stuff. That's a nice thing to do as well. Shall we, shall we start with that? Why don't we start with that? Let's just put some sparkling dewdrop morning dew energy into our magical energy hands. And please remember that's not the hands of flesh, but that's the hands of the energy body. And they can do all sorts of things. They, be, can, they can be all sorts of flavors. And they can, today they are going to be just rich with fresh, sparkling, magical dew. And we're going to use that to just have a little oh, wash. Wash the cares away. Oh. Wash all things we don't need away. That's really, really nice. And I would invite you to do this. If you're by yourself somewhere or in the shower, and really do that over your whole body, all the way, leaving no body part behind, no body part is left out. And if you feel you've run out of sparkling dew energy, just evoke it back up again. Bring it back up again. So your fingers tingle afresh and then you can, that's like when the soaps run out of your sponge. You can just refresh that. That's really nice. So that's, that's one thing, is touching yourself with a loving intention, with some lovely energy, whatever it is, nice positive that you can evoke. You know, that's, that's sunshine energy, whatever it is you want to do. This is really nice. So then we can do something else. And here I'd like you to just assume the heart position here with me for a moment. And I'd like you to think of somebody you really, really love. And they're not there with you. They are far away in time and space. They may even already be on the other side. And that's okay too. And I'd like you to just focus on your love for that person and how that feels inside. And just soften and flow a little bit if you have to. And just have that connection with that person. And if you can, just gently now Put your hands on your shoulders. And breathe in that person. And get a real sense that you are holding them. And that they are holding you. And you can just be with that for a moment. And perhaps stroke your own shoulders and arms. Or you could have a dance with the person away from the screen in your own time. And it's a wonderful and loving experience. And when you're ready, return to the heart position. 
just send that person all your love, like a fountain, all your love. Because when we are sending love, love is an outward going energy. When we send all our love, that's when we become the strongest. That's when we become the most empowered. That's when we become the most connected and the least lonely we can ever be. <sighs> this is a really nice, simple, basic human exercise that anybody can do. And with practice, it gets more and more beautiful, more and more powerful. And when you miss someone and you miss their hug, that's then something you can do right away. And your energy system will let you know that you've done the right thing. You've done a wonderful thing. And it'll make you feel just so much better. And it'll keep you strong and keep your love strong, rather than sort of falling into depression and spiraling down into low negative energy states. I really love that. I think it's very, very beautiful. 